Other than parrying or covering, now let's go through some basic head movement or, or slipping, okay? I have Chad here again. He's, got, he's gonna throw the double jab at me, which is a, a basic uh, uh, combination with the hands. And again, instead of uh, throwing the, uh, or parrying, all right, I wanna slip the jab either outside or I can slip the jab inside, okay? When I slip, again, I wanna make sure I'm, I'm in a good base. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna move my feet as I'm moving my head. So if Chad throws a jab, I'll slip to the outside, but I wanna make sure I slip in on a 45. I don't wanna slip out because it'll leave me off balance, so I will slip in so that I'm in range to maybe counter, you know, for boxing techniques, or maybe I can follow up with some knees, whatever that might be. If I slip to the inside, same concept. I wanna make sure my head is in on a 45, I don't want to slip my head away because it'll leave me off balance. Okay, so he'll throw the jab again. I'll slip to the inside, okay? Make sure you keep the hands up as you slip. Don't get fancy and leave your hands down. He throws the jab. I'm going to keep the hands up so maybe I can counter, okay? So now I'll throw the double jab or I'll throw the jabs at Chad. He'll demo uh, an MMA transition for slipping. He'll slip to the outside and he'll shoot in for that double leg, okay? Maybe he'll slip to the inside and he'll come in for that clinch, okay? So basic head movement or slipping for basic punches. All right, so a basic counter, a Muay Thai counter uh, off of slipping or the jab, what I can do is use that left leg either to the head or to the body. So I'm gonna slip my head out, get that left leg going to the body, and obviously the head if he drops that right hand. Okay, so again, as I slip, I switch my feet and then I fire that left leg, okay? Um, if I throw the jab at Chad, he'll come in for that double leg takedown and he'll lift, okay? So there's two transitions, Muay Thai or MMA for your jab. <laughs>